Hey everybody, it's Nick from Android Headlines, and today we're checking out the Google Pixel 2. We got both the XL and the smaller one here. You can compare them side by side. See the physical size difference here? We got two different colors here. It does come in a third color, a very blue, which is hanging around the table somewhere here. But what's really cool is to see the difference between the screen sizes here. So you have the larger one with the much more bezel-less design, although both of them do have front-facing stereo speakers, so you don't lose that if you want the bigger screen. Uh, both of them are very, very sleek phones. Um, it's got a new textured back to it that the previous ones don't have. You can see that it's not quite as uh, shiny or smooth as the metal on the original Pixel was. And the new fingerprint scanner too is also a lot more matte. So you have only the top half here is the glass. You got the new camera module up top. You've also got the new Oreo looking color here as well. That only comes in the XL though. And then on some models, Google has also colored the power button a little bit differently. So on this Oreo looking one, you've got the orange power button. On the blue one, you've got like a green looking power button. It's pretty nice together. So you can see the size difference here between the two of them. So Google has done a whole lot of new stuff with this. So brand new thing here. They touched up the launcher just a little bit. You got some uh, interesting new live wallpaper here. Kind of builds upon the stuff that they put in last year. And then of course you have the search bar now at the bottom instead of being up here. This is also now a new smart widget that'll pop up different things throughout your day. So you got your usual Google Now over on this side. You got your swipe up for your app drawer. And then you can also do the normal search. You can pin stuff straight from here. So Google has done a few little nice things with this that add to the functionality. You've also, of course, got the long press to get some more functionality in here. If you've used Oreo on the regular Pixel, it's not going to be a whole lot different from here. This is Android 8.0 Oreo, so it's essentially the same. You've got Google Assistant, and of course then you've also got the brand new squeeze functionality to start Google Assistant. So the squeeze functionality, instead of holding down the home button if you want to just you know squeeze it or whatever, Google used this to demo taking a selfie or something without having to touch it, which, now look, it even heard me in this crazy noisy room. That's pretty ridiculous. So here we go. Take a selfie. And there we go. Selfie without even having to do anything. Nobody wants that, so we're going to get rid of that. Overall, some pretty awesome devices. Definitely a lot lighter than last year's Pixel. And also you'll note that it is flat. It's not a wedge shape like last year's Pixel was. So this year, Google also added IP67 water and dust resistance to the phone. And a casualty of that is, of course, the lack of a headphone jack. So now you've got a USB Type-C. It's going to ship with the normal Type-C charging connector, but it also ships with a power adapter if you want to still use headphones, which of course is a big thing Google touted last year having over Apple, and uh, well, they took it away from us this year, so it is what it is. Google also has a new always-on display functionality. Uh, this is pretty similar uh, as far as the regular display goes to previous functionality with always-on displays, but the new thing is that it will be always listening to music playing around you. So if there's any music playing around you, it automatically identify a section down here that'll tell you what it hears. Google says that this is all done on phone and not via a database, so take that with what you will. Of course, then, there's also the new camera functionality. Uh, Google says that this is now the highest rated phone once again, which makes a lot of sense since last year's Pixel was absolutely fantastic. So the camera software itself is pretty similar to last year's. You have swipe one way or the other to move between photo and video mode. And of course, you got your settings over here for different things. Google is doing a new electronic and optical image stabilization on uh, all the video. The brand new HDR Plus functionality is the usual multiple exposures at once, but it's now faster than ever, and it even takes a little motion video too. So it takes a quick three seconds with every photo, and it will save all of that, plus all the 4K video to Google's cloud with unlimited photo backup for Pixel owners. So you got a quick hands-on with that. We hope you enjoyed that, and you'll check out our other Google stuff today. Thanks for watching. Until next time.